Looking across this, uh, you could see that on the 28th of August to 29th of August is about two days of 15 minutes worth of data. Now, uh, this is something that I want you to take note of. Uh, okay, before that, could you see any hammer in this two days chart? Okay, I hope you have spotted a hammer. But before that, let me just explain to you, so which hammer will carry weight? Okay, now then we explore in this two days of uh, every period of 15 minutes period, uh, what is a typical range of this two days, 15 minutes chart? Now I could see that a typical range may be, um, now this, this, is, this is just some work done, you can do that on your part as well. Now, so out of these two days, my question to you is that can you identify a typical 15 minutes period range? Now, I, I roughly identify that maybe this is typical. It's a very norm, uh, normal range out of these two days. So there's this, uh, what I call the, uh, the last two days dynamic that is as such. Seems like the norm is about 22 points. Okay, Then maybe I try another one. Maybe this looks pretty normal out of these two days. The market dynamics or the 15 minutes range dynamics of these two days is about maybe 22 points. Okay, so we acknowledge that a typical uh, a typical dynamic of the last two days is about 22 points. Okay, now then after that we saw a hammer. Can you see a hammer? Let me. I will give you about 10 seconds to spot for a hammer. Okay. Now my topic, uh, my segment here is that which hammer. Uh, when you look at a chart, there's a lot of hammer may have appeared, but how to select the hammer likely to have a higher weighting? Okay, now I think you may have spotted that this is a hammer, but after that, we kind of figure out that this hammer is about 51 points. Now, earlier I discussed about the typical range of this 15 minutes period over the last two days, typically it's about 22 points, uh, some, sometimes maybe lesser. Uh, this is something that we're not too interested in. Uh, on this topic, I just want to look at, dive into just look at hammer, okay, as a reversal up signal. So uh, this is definitely bearish, okay, and the range is also very wide, but I'm not going to talk about it today uh, because I want to stay focused on reversing up signal. Now, so typical range about 22 points, and we spotted this hammer. And we have to understand that as we measure the high and the low, how I get 51 points is that you take the high minus the low, you get 51. So as you reference to the typical dynamic range, it's 22 points. And therefore, I find that it's about two times more or something can be three or something can be four times more. Then I will recognize that maybe this hammer is something that I should take a closer look at. So now the psychology is this. Uh, maybe there's some bad news going on over the last two days and the market continue to sell down. So at this juncture, the market continue to sell off. Now, I'm going to tell you the story. Okay? The market continue to sell off, then suddenly without any positive data, the market close around the high. Okay? And this, the range is very interesting because basically what we're looking for is that period, that range. Is there a lot of participation? Participation of what? Participation of fear. Okay. Uh, the beginning is here. It starts here. That it seems like there's a lot of fear. And within the close of 15 minutes, before the close of 15 minutes, or at the close of 15 minutes, the market ramp up and close around the high. Now, the trick of looking out for a good hammer is range much wider than the norm. And of course, you have to understand the behavior size behind the hammer. Let me just repeat, or maybe poor theta performing, market was bearish. And so this typical period is the same market open unchanged. It went all the way down. And after that, for no good, good reason, okay, there's no positive data, the market closed around the high. Okay, so I see a lot of fear. But within this 15 minutes, I could see a lot of confidence start to come out again. So the next flip of the 15 minutes, I believe this is my belief. I believe because of this understanding, maybe that low has been established. So now once I can ask, uh, tell myself this, I believe the previous low, the recent low, the low has been established, then there is a case for me to get into the market with 
a measured risk. Now, as a trader, if you're going to trade, I would advocate derivatives. Okay. Now, derivative, of course, is margin, there's leverage, and it's always important to have a measured risk in mind.